All the places 10 Dr. Seuss books from First Lady Melania Trump aren't going after the librarian at the Cambridgeport Elementary School said no thanks to an initiative from the White House. One school from each state was chosen to receive the books for National Read Day. That's the librarian's prerogative. I support her decision. The school's librarian, Liz Suero, meaning what she said and said what she meant, inking an editorial for a blog saying the first lady should have picked another school that actually needed the books, writing in part, my students have access to a school library with over 9,000 volumes and a librarian with a graduate degree in library science. I thought it was a, a very well-crafted message back to the White House. Do you think it's an insult at all, though, to the First Lady? No, I think she's trying to help the First Lady really understand where help is needed and how to offer the help. The librarian's editorial also takes a shot at Dr. Seuss, calling him a bit of a cliche and a tired and worn ambassador for children's literature. Oh, well, Dr. Seuss, for us, yeah, we always used to, uh, to read books as kids and have our parents read them to us. Um, we actually had at my sister's wedding, my brother read a Dr. Seuss poem. The Cambridge School System says the opinions in the editorial do not represent the district, saying in part, we have counseled the employee on all relevant policies, including the policy against public resources being used for political purposes. So I don't have a very strong opinion, but I think it could definitely be interpreted as an insult to the First Lady. Reporting from Cambridge, Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.